G'day! Today I'm demoing a game using the Microbits radio. This is a variation on Floor is Lava and we're calling it On Thin Ice. The idea is we have student devices and a controller device that the teacher would have. Students, when they see the smiley face, are free to move about the room uh, with as much vigour as they want. When the teacher hits the A button, that indicates that a crack is starting to form in the ice and it is unsafe to continue to move and they must find their way onto a table. However, any movements that they make are recorded on the micro bit. And if they move too much, too suddenly, they will fall through the ice and die. Teacher can then indicate that it's safe to move about again. Student can continue to move and they're not being um, disadvantaged by any movements that they make. Thin ice happens again. And again, the student must be very careful, make their way to a safe place. You'll notice that the amount of, the amount of um, movement that a student has made is recorded. And if they get very close, then they only have a little bit of movement to make before they will in turn fall through the ice as well. Let's have a look at the code. So here we have the controller micro bits code, the teacher's micro bit. It's pretty simple. So we've set our radio group. On start, it is good to go. The game is not in its thin ice um, phase. Hitting the A button, sending out a radio number, indicating that the floor is now um, thin ice, it's dangerous to move about. Once it's safe again, teacher will hit the B button, different radio number is sent, indicating that everything is good to go again. For the student's code, we start by setting a Boolean. The game Boolean here, set to false on start, means the floor is fine to move about. When game is true, then the micro bit will be recording and looking out for any movement from the accelerometer. And that movement is recorded into the movement variable. We have a couple of conditions that must be met in order for the student to participate in this activity. Firstly, they mustn't be dead. If they're dead, then nothing will work. It totally shuts them out of the game. They can't re-enter it unless they reset their micro bit, of course. If the game is running, so the teacher has hit the A button, that means the floor is dangerous to walk about. The accelerometer is always changing movement. Anything, it, anything above 1100, which is actually very sensitive. So if you wanted to make the game uh, less difficult, increase this number to 1200, 1300. If you wanted to make it more difficult, you probably wouldn't want to take it less than 1100 because it, it, if you have a look at the, the readout from the, from the serial, 1100 is pretty much where its baseline is. So unless it's dead still, it's, it's going to still be recording at just over a thousand. If that movement variable reaches 10, then the student is dead. And that variable is plotted on the bar graph as you saw earlier. When the radio numbers are received, the first condition is, are they dead? Because if they are dead, we don't want them to, don't want that code overriding um, what's already on this screen. I only want them to see the, the skull. They get the, a flashing, so when zero is received, that from the A button from the teacher micro bit, it's flashing on their screen to warn them that it is your micro bit is very soon going to be recording your movement, and that's triggered by setting the game Boolean to true. And then conversely, if they receive uh, number one, that means everything's safe, stopping. Uh, turning the game boolean off so that the accelerometer is no longer adding to the movement variable. Other changes you could make to this game is to um, potentially give them more or less time uh, and warning that the um, that the accelerometer is going to start tracking their movements. You could change the, um, the the limit of the amount of movement or you could change the sensitivity of the accelerometer that it's looking up to add to that variable. Happy coding!